Hi guys, it's me. So we are going to use those masks that I told that we made the other day. Um, so I think I'm just going to do this page here. It's in my journal. I'm going to put a little bit of Macaskin tape over the center there. Just because it's a little bit awkward working with strings. So let me take my glue stick here. So I hope you guys are doing well. This will be in real time. So we'll have some journaling together. But I will try to make this quicker than my last one. <laughs> so I'll take this, maybe like that. And it can be a little bit shorter than that, maybe should be. Just a little bit. Maybe not so many wrinkles, right? Okay. And I have my cup of water too, because <laughs> I haven't had any water today, so. I thought instead of tea that I would do some water. So I hope you guys are doing well. So I'll go here and stick that down like so. Just like that. Okay. All right. So we're going to add some text. This is just from a magazine that someone gave me. But I'd like to add a little bit of text. Maybe like four or five pieces. I think of text sometimes from book pages, but you can also get it from magazines too. So it's always good. Some there. And some there. And I like odd numbers, so we'll do five pieces. I think that's good. And the replacement might change a little bit. I'm just going to use my glue stick here. And maybe I'll do it on the pieces of paper, um, just because I'm thinking about I'm probably going to add paint next, so I don't want it takes the paint a little bit long to dry. So I'm going to go ahead and oh, if this sticks down for me, it's a slippery little sucker, isn't it? <laughs> okay, let's see. I think that should work. These glue sticks I found at um, a thrift store. There's a whole bunch of them. I think they belong to a teacher. So um, we've been using them with our kids. And this is, I think, one of the last ones that we have. But we got a pack of like 20 of them. Um, but they work really, really well. And they work great. And they're pretty old, I think. Yeah, they expired in 1515. So... <laughs> That was what, yeah, a lot of years ago. So, but they're still sticky and it does stick down. So probably something that a teacher had in their stash, I think. Perfect. This little piece too. There we go. And this article is about fish. I can tell that now. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and just take a baby wipe, and since I added a bunch of stuff there, I'm going to wipe that off. Every time I think of baby wipes, I think of one of my students. Um, I use a lot of them in my classes, and even to do some techniques. And um, so. One of my students, he was a man, and he went to the store, and he called me from the store, um, and he was, well, he texted me, and he was like, what kind of baby wipes should I buy? They have a lot of different brands, and I said, the cheaper, the better. You can even go to the dollar store and get baby wipes, but he was convinced that he needed expensive baby wipes in order for these techniques to work. <laughs> it was pretty funny. So, so you can use cheap baby wipes. It's totally fine <laughs> for your art. Alrighty, let's put this underneath so I can at least attempt to protect some of my pages. Let's see how well that goes. Let's do this one again too. Alrighty. Okay, so for this guy, I cut this out. So all I did was just trace around her and then I cut her out. So that'll be one way that we use the mask. And this is just um, some paper that I used to swatch out a set of watercolors that I got from my house. So very, very easy. 
and that's kind of what we get, which is nice. So that's one way that you can use your masks is to actually make a cutout that you can use on your journal page. And we're actually going to do two techniques and I'm going to show you how to use both of them. So next let's add some paint to our page. So I have this limeade. I'm going to add a little bit of that right on the page. Uh, then we'll do some yellow. This is pineapple. guy up. That should be good for now. Okay, and then I'm going to grab a brush, or I could even use my fingers, but maybe I won't do that. And I'm just going to put some color down, some blocks of color. I'll probably add another color in a minute, but this. I'm going to bring some of this yellow over here since I squirted out too much, I think. Let's see how far that takes us to. And I just stick with one color first and then I'll go in with more too. Move my water and take a drink. <laughs> I have to show you guys what I found, right? So I was cleaning up my room <laughs> and I found this hand sanitizer. <laughs> my last little bottle of hand sanitizer. It's funny. That looks great. Okay, and I'm just going to give my brush a wipe here and I'm going to go right into the limeade. These colors are going to be super close, so I might want to add a little bit of variation. We'll wet our brush a bit just to keep get that paint spread a little bit more. Bring this down. Yep. Okay, so we're going to just spread out this color like so. Alrighty, and then we will have, let's add one more color. Look at this guy. This is Ocean Breeze. I don't even know if this one, this is one of the first paints that I bought from Craftsmart. It should be really thick. <laughs> it's very old. I'll do that one too. Remember that when I used to buy Craftsmart? <laughs> okay, it works. Whatever gets the job done, especially when you're starting out. Then you get a preference of things that you like. But heck. It's always good to experiment. And with my journal, I'm not so precious. I see some artists and they use like those fancy like golden paints. And I'm like, wow. Those are very expensive art journaling pages, <laughs> but they do beautiful things with them. So if you have the money, go for it, I think. But I definitely use craft paints for my art journaling, but I do like um, the deco art ones the best. But Apple Barrel are really nice too, and Martha Stewart's are amazing also. She makes some really good paints. And I haven't tried Delta, which I think is ceramic coat. I've never really tried those, so. But I'm not very picky. <laughs> I'm really not. So I will try anything and see if it works. Oh, I love that on that brown paper. That is so pretty. Put some here too. Our brush of wipe. And then I think I'm going to go in with a little bit of white. I really want to add some pink, but I don't know if I have any pink. Let's 
see, I do have red. I have cherry red. That would be pretty. I never use red. Um, but maybe I'll use some pink. Let's add a little bit of white in here. Look at that a tad bit there. This is almost dry, so I think I'll be okay if... Very good. That's probably enough for everything. <laughs> Very good. Let's grab another brush, just so I don't mix them up too much. And I just want to get down some messy color. All right, so we'll lighten up that pink too, give us a little bit of shade variation. We'll let a little bit of that paper show through. Now let's add a little bit here too. And down there. So I'm just making very expressive um, gestures with my brush, right? So it's definitely not, they're not perfect blocks, you know, of color. That's good. Here, there. I like that though. Very nice. Okay. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay. So now I'm going to go in with some more colors, I think. And we're just going to add some marks with our brushes just to add a little bit of interest. So I have some orange here. I'm going to put it right on my little under paper here. Okay. And then let's add. So maybe some baby blue. That'll be pretty. Maybe a darker blue too. This is apple barrel paint. I don't think I've used this color a lot. Let's use that one maybe. And let's use some apricot too. I love this is peaches and cream. Just a pretty color. So just oops too much but that's okay I can use it for something else okay so then we're just going to add some marks so let's just add maybe some circles first or maybe some crosses let's make some crosses and I'm just making some marks with my brushes I like to put it in a couple places on my page. And you could absolutely use stencils. They have so many mark making stencils that are really cool out there. Just a little, maybe just a few down here. I think that will be it for that. that okay, let's pick another color here. Let's do this blue. For the blue, we're just going to just add little dashes. Just like that. I have a little bit of orange on there, but I'm not going to worry about that. It is a pretty blue. It's kind of like a bluey purple. I like that. Perfect. Let's together. A little bit more. Do some. Okay, I'll try another brush here. I have this little fine one. I haven't used this one, I don't think, ever before. So let's go into that really light blue. And I'm going to kind of pick a darker area if I have one available. <laughs> let's make some V shapes. And it's so fun to explore marks. 
I really like to explore them with my brush because I'm much more comfortable with a pen. But I think all art is all about pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone. So. So my mom got some smelt. Um, I think it's been like a month ago. It was on sale at Safeway. So we got some. And um, we're going to cook it tonight. So that should be interesting. She's going to cook it tonight, I should say. I've never cooked it before. I didn't even know if it was clean or how to clean it. So I looked up some videos. But I'm curious to, to try it. Um, we had lots of um, anchovies when we were in... Italy, which I love. They were so good. I even had like this um, anchovy like sampler. So they made it like four different ways. It was so good. So they had it fried and pickled and it was delicious and a salad and it was, it was really good and baked and all different sorts of ways. It was so delicious. So it'll be nice to, to try smelt and <laughs> see how that is. And I never really had an aversion to, um, anchovies I just had never tried them before so but they're good and where we went um, in Italy they had all these little stands um, and they actually sold the anchovies like wrapped up <laughs> it was great and like newspaper it was very cute all the colorful boats and everything by the Mediterranean Sea it was so pretty that was beautiful. Such a pretty place. Okay, so let's make some more marks too. I think maybe what I'll do, I want to do like a big scribble. Who says that I can't? I think I'm going to do that actually. I was going to stop myself and be like, well, you don't want to do that, but I'm going to do that. And we eat a ton of sweet potatoes, so I think we're going to do baked sweet potatoes, too. So that should be good. And then a salad. That looks cool. Okay. Alrighty, so let's see anything else I want to do. I don't think so. Okay. So I think maybe the only thing that I do want to do is I want to add maybe some splatters. Let's try white. I'm thinking that I want black because I love contrast, but we're going to try some white. Because I can't help myself, but I love splatters. Yeah, that's like a pinky color because my brush was dirty. So let's try another brush. Brush, brush, brush. That's good, but it doesn't have enough contrast for me. So. We're going to get some black. Black, black, black. And I cleaned up my art, my art area. <laughs> I don't know where anything is. What did I do with the black paint? <laughs> it's here somewhere. This won't work. This is a Craft Smart Black, but that should work. I really love um, the Deco Art one because it's really, really black. Um, some of them are like um, some other craft paints. They're like really like not like a dark, dark black. They're more of like a light black. So yeah, so see, this is not like a very pure black. And see, if you put it next to that one, it's not very pigmented. And actually, it's a little bit transparent. Um, so that's not my favorite. So I think that I'm not going to use this. And maybe I'll just use... Maybe I'll look out and look down my black paint. That would be ideal. Let's see if I have another black paint. Okay, so this is a multi-surface one. Okay, 
that is like true black. It's blacker than that one, and I don't think it's very transparent, so I like that one. Okay, so we'll use that. And this does have a little bit of pink, but that's okay. That won't. Because this is a good black, it'll be fine. We're just going to add some black splatters. Just because I think that that will kind of bring things together. It's such a bright page that I think it needs that contrast. Alrighty, I like that a lot. Okay. Alright. Okay. So I am just going to let's decide which one we're going to use for our that is very great hologans there. I think we can work on that though. We'll do this one. So I'm thinking maybe we'll do her because that's the stencil that I, that's the one that I cut out remember I told you I turned it over on the piece of paper and I cut it out so it's her that shape um so I think maybe what I'll do is I'll do that but I think that this has too much color so let's add some black or some contrast so I'm just going to go in and add some spots of black paint. Just so that we get some contrast. should be better. Let's maybe even add one like right in here. And I can doodle on those later. I might not do that on camera though. So this video is not forever. I like that. So I think that looks a lot better. We just have to figure out where I'm going to place her. I think I like it there. And then we'll do her too. I think we're almost dry here. Okay, we're gonna kind of move this along. So I think what I'll do is I'm gonna grab this piece of paper and I'm gonna take the back of it and I'm just gonna rub it gently. And that will kind of pick up the dried piece. It might smudge it a little bit, but I don't mind that so much. But it kind of picked up that orange paint that wasn't quite dry. And you know what I want to do, just because I kind of have the inclination, is I want to add some caps, some circles. So I'm looking for something here that I can make a circle. I'll use a cap from here. I wonder what. I think I want to do black, actually. So. Let's put out a little bit more of that. Contrast, contrast, because I love contrast. But we can do other colors too. But And see that smudge a little bit, but I'm totally okay with that. And now I have given my page more drying time. <laughs> oh. But what can I do? I'm sorry. I think that my ideas are only going to take a little bit of time and then they end up taking forever. That's why sometimes I have to do voiceovers. <laughs> this is the reason because I start out thinking one way and then it's like, hmm, yeah, let's, let's try this. Let's just experiment. That's a good thing about art journaling is that you can explore a bit more than we would, right? Because it's just a page and it doesn't have to be perfect. And mine never are. They're <laughs> definitely expressive. I think that makes them interesting. I think that's the great part about art journaling. Okay, so I think maybe we'll just 
use that trick again with a piece of paper and see if we can get anything up. I'll smash them down a little bit if that's okay. Grab a piece of paper here. It's a paper that I just do a little flower on and a linen. Okay, and I make a transfer, but I'm gonna just stick it on there. Must try it actually. Yeah, I think that trick worked. Perfect. Let's smash it out a bit. But I like that look actually. I don't mind that very much. Very nice. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. So now we will grab our girl here. And I'm just gonna stencil around her. So she I'm gonna use her as a mask for this. So a mask is just when you go around a shape or a form and um, it's really cool. I love to do it. So we're going to just take our makeup sponge and I'm just going to sponge around her. I just try to hold it down as much as possible. It's okay if it's not perfect. You guys know that I am totally not about perfection. It's only when it comes to art at least. Okay. Very good. Well, I did run anymore. <laughs> okay, there we go. get some more by her head. Let's pull her up. Ooh, she looks cool. I like that a lot. Very, very nice. And that's her hand. Um, oh, we'll kind of see. I don't know how I feel about that. But she that is a cool background. I like that. So then I'm going to glue this down. scrap piece of paper here. We're going to just add some glue on her. And I did apply a lot of glue because this is made from cardstock. So I want to make sure that it sticks down. And I'm going to be a little bit careful because this is watercolor. So it will move if I wet it again. So I just have to be a little bit careful. And it doesn't have to be perfectly down. Actually, I think that's pretty good. We're going to just put a little bit here, though, on this edge. So she's mostly down. She doesn't curl up on me. There we go. Very cool. I like that. Okay. Wonderful. So now what should we do? Let's see. I think maybe, I wonder if we should add some washi tape. I haven't used washi tape in a while. Let's see. So I have the arrows. That one's kind of cool. I use that one a lot. But maybe I'll use one that I don't use that often. This is like pears and hearts and all sorts of cool stuff, so that might work. Again, I really like contrast. Ooh, I like this one with the hearts. Maybe we'll do that one. And it's black, so it definitely adds some contrast. Ooh, and then I have this leopardy one. I use that a lot. I like that one. Let's see here. I have them all in this little container here. Uh -oh, so I'm just going through these. See, this is kind of pretty too. I like the navy. Maybe the navy and the hearts are cool. Maybe let's do one more too. That one is kind of plain, right? 
Ooh, look at the stripes. I'm kind of filling those two together. Like those. Ooh, look, I have one with eyelashes. That'd be cool. I haven't used that one at all. See, this is what happens when you go through your washi tape. Then you want to use all the washi tape because it's so fun. Let's see here. So, so I do that and that. Actually, I kind of like those pairs, so we're going to use that. And if I want to add more, I can. But since we're waiting for this situation to drive it, let's see what we can do here. So do I want to add random pieces, or I could add some to the edge, which I never do, but I think that'd be cool. But do I want the whole edge? Do I actually like that? Mm -hmm. the bottom. Maybe like splitting them down the middle. Actually kind of like that. But that's interesting. Yeah, I like that. Okay, cool, Dole. Let's do that. And for the eyes, or the eyelashes, I should say. <laughs> eyelashes. Let's see here. Just gonna tear them off with my hands here. I could put them on their face. That would be kind of interesting, but no, I don't like that. So I'll kind of have them just kind of randomly. I have no idea what this page means. <laughs> it's kind of going, getting a little weird, but that's okay. So we have these pretty blue ones too. We'll do those guys. And I will go back and glue down all this tape. Kind of like that. It's interesting. I just like it. It doesn't have to make sense right now. I do like it. Very cool. Okay, so are those dry enough? Okay, I think so. Okay, so then I think that I want to add a word because I love words. <laughs> so, Let's see. All right. So we could do get it done. Important. These are like reminder stickers. Treat yourself. Wind down. <laughs> Date night. Family time. Girls' night. Big day. Reminder. Hmm, what if we do reminder? I haven't used these, but I like the color. I think they go. I had no idea that I was going to use them. So, reminder, priority. Maybe reminder. like that. Sorry guys, I had a delivery. So <laughs> let's see here. So we have reminder. Uh -huh. I like the treat yourself. And it doesn't have a you. So I guess it's yourself. <laughs> let's see. That's kind of cool. But I don't know about the little flag thing. And I think that we need to have something where it pops out a bit more. Yeah, so 
So maybe let's grab some more of the tape here. Could use the polka dot. How does it look against there? I actually like that. I think that pops it out. Actually, I actually have this one, which I think will work even better because it's actually tape. This one is like paper tape. Let's see. I really love black and white washi tape. That's my favorite. That's the one that, that is the kind that I use the most. I think that it's very versatile. So I'll treat yourself. Alrighty, let's stick that there. And I might put another little piece down here too. That should be our mask. I think that arrived today. Treat yourself. I like that. Okay, so let's do. We'll just stick it down. All right, treat yourself. Ready? I think this is dry enough, so I can go in and add a little bit of blue. Pulling up my paper there. Okay. All right. So what else do we need here? I think maybe we need to give this a little bit more definition. So I'm going to get my marker here, my gold marker, and we are just going to outline the inside of her. I love gold. Just to make her stick out a bit. And this one is almost out, so I'm hoping that. Oh, let me go through here. We also got shields from Amazon, so we've been using. As <laughs> you should see, people are so funny. They're like trying not to look at me <laughs> and they probably laugh, but it's funny. I don't really care. It's great. But they're shields um, for your face. Little plastic shields. So we have some of those too. And they have hats. They have a hat on top of them too. So they're cool. And my mom wears hers without the mask, which I don't think is a good idea, but she has, she can't breathe. And it is hard if you've never worn masks to get used to them. It does feel a little bit suffocating <laughs> the first time you wear them. I mean, the first time I put on protective gear um, at the hospital, it was kind of like that. You were like, oh my gosh, I, can I actually breathe? I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so I'm having problems kind of seeing because I added that black um, where her hand is. So we're gonna do that. So it goes there. So we'll go around like that. And then, oh, that's her cuff. Better sleeve. There and there and around. Perfect. So I don't know, that looks kind of weird, but that's okay. <laughs> Maybe I should not have. Yeah, that's okay. I should have just made it like go in, but that's okay. We can have, we can fix that. I remember this one time I worked at the hospital and this poor lady, she had had a mastectomy, a double mastectomy. And um, they give you like these little tubes for drainage um, because they remove your breasts, of course. Um, and you have to empty them. Well, 
this lady, she had a lot of bleeding and it's filling up really fast and it started to leak out of the incision. So I went to the nurse and I told her what was going on. And, um, and she said, okay, I'll be right down. And I thought it was kind of weird because she didn't seem like very alarmed. <laughs> so, so I went back in there and um, I was holding the incision because it was losing. She was losing a ton of blood, basically. Um, I think the, the sutures um, had come undone. So, um, so she walks in the room and she's like, she's bleeding. <laughs> There's a lot of blood to me. And um, yeah, so she always made the joke. She's like, you are just like the calmest person ever. She said, I had no idea what I was walking into because you were so calm. <laughs> it was funny. But she was fine. Everything was good. Um, and I had to, then they, you know, get all the doctors and stuff. And you have like doctors that are on call, residents and that kind of thing. And they come in. And so we had to hold the incision and lay her down and put oxygen in her and just kind of secure her into respiratory and everything came up. But she was fine. And she was such a nice lady. Oh, God. But it was funny. <laughs> She's like, Shami, you have your voice has to change when there's a major catastrophe. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't know how serious it was, but it was funny. Yeah, but I. I try not to freak out about stuff. Sometimes that's hard, but. And I do have anxiety, but not, not when I was working there, which is kind of strange, or at any of my jobs, really. But about other stuff. If anything, I have anxiety about not getting my work done. <laughs> I have to kind of calm myself down. And I do like to do a really good job, so that's probably not the best thing sometimes. Because there's some stuff that you have no control over, so <laughs> it's a good reminder. But that reminded me. Her name was um, Carolyn, was the nurse's name. And she was, like, she had been a nurse forever. Okay, I like her. Very cool. She looks pretty awesome. And maybe just to make this one a little bit special. And I'm just adding little details here. <laughs> Let's see. I think maybe do I have another one? Maybe I should add some black. I don't know if I want to add black. Yeah, maybe I'll add black. When in doubt, add some black. Okay. But it was fun working in the hospital. And then one time we had popcorn. Someone over did popcorn. So we had to evacuate in our little staff room. That was interesting. But where I worked, they were very nice to us. So we used to like get massages and um, like chair massages. And they would have these really big like company picnics. Um, but on site, so it was fun. So they would have like face painters and cotton candy <laughs> and all sorts of stuff for like nurses appreciation and all that kind of stuff. So it was fun. And they had lots of bake sales and craft fairs. It was definitely a fun job. I really loved it. Oh, that looks cool. I like her. I 
really want to write a word. <laughs> I don't know which word I want to write. Let's see. I don't know. So, we won't write a word. Maybe I'll come back and write a word. But um, let's see. I wonder if I can write over this with my jelly roll. I don't know. One of these is not working. I think I was very naughty and I did not take care of the pin very good. So, very good. And this does have a satin finish. It's kind of glossy, so I'm surprised that it's writing over it. But it is, so I'm grateful for that. Treat yourself. Maybe two. We'll do two chocolate. Maybe I'll write the things that I like to treat myself to. <laughs> Choco. I like to treat myself to art. Do some chai. D. Treat myself too. I think those are good. <laughs> Those are very good. It's a good reminder. Hopefully I'll remember that. You guys have to tell me, what do you like to treat yourselves to? Ooh, I should have put good music. That's always a treat. Maybe we can put it, let's see here, where can I put it? Oh, we can, we can change this a little bit. Let's do. I don't know if it will fit, but we'll do. And I can just make the words maybe bigger. I'm going to make it a little bit funny looking here because I am going to have problems making it fit. Good music. Good deal. I'm just going to add some dashes around her, but um, I'm doodling again, and you guys are going to be here forever, and I'm so sorry. <laughs> I can't help myself. I start doodling. That's what happens. So much fun. So I hope that I gave you some ideas for how you can use um, these DIY, you know, these masks and stencils that you made for yourself. It's great. It's fun fun to make stuff and to see how you can incorporate it in your art. I think one more thing that I'm going to do is I want to kind of make this pop a little bit more than treat yourself. So I'm going to just go around it a little bit. Just like that. 
So I've seen that on YouTube, they've had lots of people that are showing you how to do your makeup when you wear a mask, <laughs> which is funny. But I think that's very important. That's probably a good tip. Very good. Treat yourself. I like that a lot. Very nice. Let's see. And I want to add a little bit of dots, too. I like dots. I always add dots. It's kind of, I like it a lot. So you can see just a little bit of that collage, which is interesting. Um, just a little bit from when we put down a few pieces of paper. So not very much, but still works. I'm so glad that this jelly roll pin is working. <laughs> I don't know what I did with the other one. <sighs> Sometimes I'm impatient and I don't let things dry. And I cannot get the Uniball Signo to work. I to <laughs> and everyone loves that pin. I don't know. It's like every one that I get, I don't know. I must do something bad to it because they just, they never even work. I don't think. And I've bought a few of them. So I did buy one at Michael's one time that worked for a little while. So I can't say that. Should have also put treat yourself to let's put prayer. So that's been helping me a lot during this time. Prayer. Let's do laughter too. Let's do joy. Let's see, being hopeful. It's easy for us not to do that, or for me. the best laugh today my sister <laughs> poor thing she's not having a good day she has a little guy and he's two my nephew <laughs> so she went to get her teeth you know pulled poor thing so um he tuck eggs out of the refrigerator he likes to sit in the refrigerator i don't know why and she has a really clean refrigerator but somehow he like hit his head or something and he knocked over all the eggs so they're on the floor and she sent us a picture it was so funny and he's in tears he's crying um and she had to clean up eggs and her tooth hurts i said oh my goodness i tell you mothers are very special <laughs> oh wow <laughs> You know, your tooth hurts, and I'm like, you, yeah, he's not having a good day. I don't think she is either. <laughs> oh, well. So there's all these eggs on the floor. It's a poor thing. <laughs> but he was a good laugh, and I love the picture. So it's a great picture. I have, like, hundreds of pictures of him. I, just, I tell everyone I have to make, like, a video, like, of all the pictures that I have of him. <laughs> It's so funny, but it was a good laugh. So laughter is very important too. So treat yourself to a good laugh. Let's write that too. Where can I put that? Okay. Maybe we'll do it. Let's do it right on top. A good <laughs> Those are important. And children are notorious for making us be able to laugh. <laughs> Let's see. Either laugh or cry, whichever one works. Sometimes both at the same time, I think. <laughs> oh, well. That was funny. Uh, 
Alrighty, guys. So I hope that I gave you some really good ideas. I hope that you um, make a page that is definitely inspired by this. I love to see your work. So um, please send me a copy so I can see it. I would love to see it. And um, this turned out really, really great. And it was a fun time. So I hope you guys are doing very, very well. And see, I got some some of that paint on here. But what can you do? It's me. That's what I do. <laughs> but I tried to protect the page. And do you guys see this? I made a page upside down. I think I have like two pages in here that are upside down. I don't know. I do funny things like that. Nope, just that one. <laughs> just that one. That's it. That's the only boo-boo. But it's good. So I hope you guys are having a great day. And thank you so much um, for being with me. And I will see you guys next time for the next video. Have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.